Smash, smash, smash. This is gonna hurt in tomorrow's game. Yo, what is going on, boys? Welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, we have got a massive game. This is a huge local derby. Like, we're playing against Wolverhampton, so it's pretty close. It's like literally a 15 minute drive. I could imagine the game could get pretty feisty, to be fair. But I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Last time we played Wolverhampton at our place, we absolutely smashed them. But we were on our Astro, we were at home. So that kind of was in our advantage, but now we're playing away. Also, don't think we've actually won at Wolverhampton for like ages, so this will be a good test to the team. Right, so first off, as always, vitamin D. Oh my God, I'm literally on the last one. <laughs> Electrolytes and omega-3 fish oils. I've been taking these electrolytes every day now just so I can kind of hopefully stop cramping up. And I've also stopped taking creatine because I kind of heard that if you are taking creatine, it could be a potential cause of cramps. And because I am drinking enough water, I'm definitely hydrated. I just can't seem to think what it is. So I've had a new tattoo yesterday. So I just had my inner bicep done and it's absolutely killing. Honestly, yesterday, that was the most painful experience I've ever had. And it is really, fucking sore at the minute. Probably not the best idea to get a tattoo the day before a game. But I think the adrenaline will kick in and I should be all good. So a lot of you have been asking me on my thoughts on the new RFU tackle height rule which is below the waist and to be honest I think it's absolute bullshit. I don't think it's going to reduce concussions. Like you can definitely just get a knee to the head or a hip to the head. And it just seems impossible that that's actually going to work. Like imagine a six foot five back row trying to tackle a scrum off in two meters of space. Also, if you're defending on your line, you're going to have to go high sometimes. How are you going to tackle them on the line to stop them from scoring if the tackle height is below the waist? Unless you literally dump them every single time. But think of successive phases, like 10 phases in, that is not going to happen. So I hope it does get revoked and I think it probably will do. But to be honest it doesn't really affect me because I'm a winger and I don't tackle anyway. <laughs> I said it earlier on in the week on TikTok, I am not a professional rugby player. I just like making videos and I like playing rugby. So I just want to make these videos to hopefully entertain you guys, show you a bit of an insight into my life and my rugby games and also if I can inspire and help any of you young rugby players to just continue playing, enjoying the sport and also just get more viewership to rugby and kind of show what it's all about then that's pretty much my job done. So if you are enjoying these videos let me know, leave a like and drop a comment because I'm going to be doing them every single week. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for today. Right, so just packing everything up for my game day. Uh, we're playing on grass today, so once again, the old boots are coming out. Look at the state of them. But we've got some very exciting things coming up over the next couple of months. Obviously, the Six Nations is starting in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be going to a few of the games. I think I'm going to England, Italy, England, France, which should be absolutely sick. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the Six Nations? Who's going to win? I'm rooting for England, of course. And it's going to be an exciting competition. Also got some exciting news with the London Sevens. So in May, the HSBC London Sevens is up. And if you know anything about Sevens events, you know they're absolutely sick. Like, it's a sick day out. And I'm going to be going down to Twickenham for the day. So that should be sick as well. Let me know if you guys are going to the London Sevens. But yeah, we're all packed up, ready to go to the game. Let's go and hopefully get a W. <laughs> oh! Don't get me. Meeting it loads. Yeah. <laughs> all the six form are going to be like, yeah. Best dream for you as well, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's gonna be boggy as fuck, that is. Typical shit, aren't they? Typical fucking shit, aren't <laughs> So today we're playing against Wolverhampton and here are about to kick off. Pretty good chase there from Wolverhampton. So this is a massive local derby. We've always had it against uh, Wolverhampton and I knew this game was going to be pretty intense. Now Wolverhampton have been playing pretty well recently. Uh, they only lost to Old Hales. I think it was 15-3 at their place the other week. So they are definitely a much improved team to the last time we played them. But we are on a winning streak and we are fighting for promotion. So this was a big game for both of us. So straight from the off, Wolverhampton are in our 22 and it's already getting very feisty around the breakdown. Few pushes and shoving from both teams. And first thing I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, but this ref was absolutely terrible this game. So initially it was pretty even, both teams having good possession, good carries from forwards and backs, but no scores as of yet. So here was my first bit of involvement in the game. So we've got a scrum in the center of the field. Really good dominant scrum here. Nice pick and go from George. Dean then manages to find me, which I'll get on the outside. 
get past their winger, um, but their fullback then just got me into touch, so pretty good tackle there from their fullback, but I thought I was in for my first try then. <laughs> Unfortunately, 10 minutes into the game, Pete Fitz, uh, we lost him due to a little injury, but he does make a comeback and he comes back on the pitch later on. Wolverhampton offside, and we do manage to secure a penalty just inside their 22, which Ben steps up, kicks for posts, and kicks it over to make it 3-0 to Warsaw. So about five minutes later, another good scrum from Warsaw, pick and go from Dean, into Adam, who draws their player nicely, gives it to me, which I then do manage to get on the outside. Um, Bosch their fullback then. Uh, but I was getting held up and I managed to get the offload to Dean, who goes in for his try. So pretty happy with that try. Um, managed to get the offload off somehow, which Ben kicks and unfortunately misses the post. There is another late tackle there from one of their players, which caused a bit of a kickoff. Uh, nothing much, just a few pushing and shoving, which pretty much was most of the game. But this was a late tackle and it ended up in their player being sent to the Simbin. Wolverhampton do secure a penalty for us being offside, which they do decide to go to post and he steps up and slots the penalty. So that's the first points for Wolverhampton now making it 8-3 to Warsaw. So now we were coming back and we had some really good attacking play here from the forwards and the backs. A nice carry here from Rob who then manages to get the offload off and we're making some good meters here. We weren't as clinical as we should have been. We definitely should have put more points on the board in this game, but with the conditions and the ref and how heated the game was, it was a bit of a shit show really. Again, with a very dominant scrum and some expansive play, um, we do manage to get it wide. Adam putting me in, which I then go around the edge again, um, step their fall back and I'm in for the try here. So there, for their player there, that is definitely a high tackle. Should have been a penalty try. I also should have just went in dive for the corner. So pretty lucky there for Wolverhampton to get away with that. Let's just look at it again. Step their fall back. Their player is literally round my neck there. Even their physio knows it, look. That was high. But that was the end of the first half. So 8-3 to Warsaw. Pretty even game at the minute. We are kind of dominating possession and attack. But we're just not clinical enough. We're not getting the points on the board and we're not scoring tries. So now kicking off into the second half. This game at the minute could go either way. It's so close and it's a pretty even game. So we have a line out now five metres out. And some good carries from the forwards. But here George going on his own. Manages to get held up. And they do manage to secure a penalty. Now here Warsaw. Wolves on the attack, uh, they kick it over, Dean with a late tackle, <laughs> fucking hell Dean. Both teams here having a chat with discipline, but for some reason Will, our player, has got sent off and one of their players also got sent off, I think it was just team foul, but both teams with a man down. So here's another bit of involvement from me, um, Ben gave me a huge wide pass and I'm just running into their props here, so <laughs> I had not much to do except try and secure the ball. In their half, Warsaw with some really good attack, great offload from Pete. Ben trying to float the pass over to me, but their player manages to get a hand to it. If he didn't tap that, I would have definitely been in for a try. So here, Wolverhampton kicking the ball for safety, but Adam catches the ball, gives me a bit of a hospital pass to be fair, but I managed to absolutely bosh their 12, but then got caught up in traffic and secured the ball. So Warsaw now on the attack, and we do manage to secure a penalty just under their posts, which Ben kicks over and slots it through the post to make it 11-3 to Warsaw. Some more really good defence from Warsaw to stop them attacking. And to be honest, most of the game, they didn't look like they were going to score at all, um, but we just couldn't put our points away. Now, it's Wolverhampton's turn for a penalty now, just under our posts, which their fullback steps up, and he slots it over to make it 11-6 to Warsaw now. Warsaw here again with a really dominant scrum, which Dean gets off to Ben. Ben with a little chip over, and he chases... Uh, their player makes a mistake. Ben goes through um, and he gets it over the line, but I think he does drop it. So that was unfortunate there and it was a knock on and the try was disallowed. Again here, we're literally a couple of meters out with some forwards carries, but we just cannot get the score. Will here with a nice pass over to me, which I do. Their winger makes a good tackle on me to be fair, but I get the offload to Adam. And Adam goes in in the corner for a try. So finally, we have got another try. Good tackle there from their winger, to be fair. But I managed to get the offload off again for my second assist of the game. Ben steps up for the kick. Their fans definitely giving Ben some shit, which Ben unfortunately misses from the corner. Again, some more kicking off starting. I've got no idea why. So here, Warsaw securing a great turnover. Um, Dean giving it to Ben. Ben with a little chip over the top, which Brandon chases. Uh, their player 
messes it up, which Dean just picks up nice and quick and manages to get through and score under the posts. Ben kicking it over nice and easy to get the conversion. That is the game done. So 23-6 for Warsaw and happy to get the win away from home. What does it smell like? It smells like the double, baby! <laughs>